Hello children. Today I am going to tell you the story of an intelligent buffalo. There was a man named Edgar. Edgar had a buffalo named Bounty. Can you see Bounty? And this is Edgar. Okay. Now, Bounty was a very hard working buffalo. And so was Edgar. One day, but one day, while Edgar and Bounty were working in the fields, Bounty fell down. He fainted. That's when Edgar realized that Bounty is overworked. He needs to take rest. He has worked enough. It's time to let him go free. So, the next day, Edgar tells Bounty, Bounty, you have helped me enough. You have worked for me enough. It's time that you get your freedom. You are not bound by me. You, you are not bound to anything. You are free to roam around anywhere. Bounty was very confused. But Master, where will I go? I don't know any place besides the field and the shed. Don't worry, Bounty, said Edgar. And he said that you go out, go into the jungle, meet new people, meet new friends, I mean, <laughs> meet new animals. And you will be very happy. I know that. Okay, Master. And Bounty moved towards the jungle. Now in the jungle, he met a lot of animals. He made friends with them. And uh, he found a lot of green grass. It was beautiful. And there was a stream of water flowing where he drank water. And then came night. He was very worried. Where will I stay? All the birds and animals, they went to their, their own houses. So while he was worrying about the place, a place to stay, he saw a cave. He went inside the cave and said, Moolala, what a lovely cave. It's warm and comfortable. Now I can sleep comfortably. And he, and he, slept there and he kept, this thing continued for a very long time for uh, for uh, a month or so okay now bounty didn't know that a fox named tim had been following him clever fox can you see him clever fox tim had been following bounty and he said, either this animal is very strong or very foolish. Does he even know whose house he is living in, whose cave he is living in? I'll go and talk to him. And Tim went to him. Hello, little fella, he said to Bounty. Bounty said, a little fox calling a big buffalo little fella is sure very funny. What? What are you saying? You're making fun of me? I, don't you know? I, I am the king of the jungle. And you are making fun of me? I'll teach you a lesson. Fox, I might be new to the jungle. But I know that you are not the king of the jungle. Now run along. And, and the fox got further more angry. He said, I, I, I will teach you a lesson. You will suffer. You will pay for it. Be gone. Be gone, fox. And then, Bounty went to his cave. And he said, I better be careful. The, this fox had been following me and I didn't know. And of course, this cave must belong to someone. 
it didn't take very long for bounty to realize whose cave it was that night when bounty was about to go to sleep he heard a loud roar roar and bounty was shaken oh my my it is the tiger's den that i'm staying in he was so scared he started shivering he said oh my god oh my god how am i going to face this tiger was he will kill me he will kill me but children i told you in the very beginning that bounty was an intelligent buffalo he got worried but then he realized felt that he cannot give up he has to try think of a plan and save himself so he started thinking of a plan and he stuck upon this plan as soon as the tiger came in the hearing distance he said wow what a lovely tiger i will eat him and have fulfill my hunger i haven't eaten a tiger in a long time and the tiger heard outside he came with a roar but he said oh my god there is a more dangerous animal inside my cave i must run away i must run away the tiger came like this and ran away like this the next day timmy was taking a walk around the jungle and he hit upon someone and suddenly there was roar 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 he said stupid fox you scared me he said sir sir i ain't scared you who are you scared of you are the king of the jungle you don't know there is a more this the more dangerous animal staying in my cave i went there last night and i was about to be eaten when i ran away a more dangerous animal no sir there's a buffalo staying in your house not an animal not a dangerous animal do are you foolish you making a fun of me i would i be scared of a buffalo no this is a dangerous animal sir you come along with me i'll show you it's not a dangerous animal it's a buffalo you are incorrigible sir if you don't believe me come with me we will together we will go and we you will see that it's not a dangerous animal i'll not go i'll not go what if you run away leaving me alone oh my god sir i we will tie a rope around each other one end to you and one end to me and that's how we will go so even if i want to run i can't run because i am tied to you lion said oh okay okay if you say it's a buffalo let's go and have a look so so he and the fox left for the cave in the cave bounty was sitting bounty saw from far that the fox and the tiger are coming again he said oh this clever fox he has told the tiger that the, i am a buffalo staying here but i will teach this fox a lesson now and as soon as the tiger and the fox came into the hearing distance he said stupid fox you've got me only one tiger 
I told you to get two tigers. One tiger? How will I fulfill my hunger with one tiger? And the tiger heard it and he ran away, dragging the fox behind and they never looked back. And Bounty had a <laughs> hearty laugh and he lived in that cave, in that jungle, happily ever after without anybody troubling him. I hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you so much.